All right, guys, what's up? Welcome, and this is the second part of uh, pre, sorry, intermediate. Okay, this one. So it's the second part of intermediate, and we were talking about what? Uh, present simple versus present continuous. We were talking about the difference, okay? The difference of these two. So uh, let's go and let's talk about present present continuous present continuous all right so as you know uh, the structure for simple present is easy the structure okay it is subject plus verb plus complement also you can say object okay object of the verb of course uh, and then the structure for present continuous is like this present but uh, first let's talk about present simple this is the structure and auxiliary verb auxiliary verbs this is auxiliary verb the auxiliary verb for present present simple is verbs auxiliary what is what is auxiliary verb guys auxiliary verbs are those verbs that helps the main verb to change the word verb into negative and questions okay so that is auxiliary verb so we use do or does as an auxiliary verb in simple present in questions and negatives only questions and negatives this auxiliary verb is also a complete or a main verb okay so here let's talk about present continuous okay let's talk about present continuous now first first things first let's talk about the this uh, the usage why do we use present continuous c Oh God, we use present continuous. What? We use present continuous for actions that, that are in progress, in progress at the moment of speaking. At the moment of what? Speaking. When you're speaking, there are some actions that are in progress, something that is happening. So, uh, actions that are in progress. Keep this one in mind, okay? This is the usage of present continuous, and this is the structure, guys. First, we have subject, and then we have verb to be. And then, what is verb to be? Verb to be are all those verbs that you have been studying since beginner. So these are verb to be, and then you have verb, your verb takes ing, and then you have a complement, or you can say object. All right, so this is the structure. Yep, so this is the structure for present continuous. Yeah, one usage, one usage of what? Present continuous. Now, next one, next usage is first usage of simple. So, first usage of present continuous was this one. And then let me put a bullet here. And then I will go here. Yeah. So, next usage of present continuous is that. Things that are happening. happening now sorry happening around now but not exactly not exactly at the moment of speaking that means they're happening in these days they're happening but not at the moment of speaking let me give you an example for this one for example we are learning English we're learning English online. 
Easy. So this is something that is in the progress right now, and we are doing that. But this one, let me let me have a look. But this one, um, things that are happening right now, sorry, around now, but not exactly at the moment of speaking. For example, I'm watching a good TV series these days. You're not watching now at this moment. This is something that is happening around now. Means these days you are doing, uh, you're watching, okay? And you're watching this, uh, and you're doing this action, okay? Next, next one, guys, most important thing. The most important thing, next usage. Next usage is very important. But before that, let's talk about, let's talk about, uh, guys, let's talk about temporary actions one next one let's talk about temporary actions and permanent what permanent sorry my permanent is wrong uh, let's talk about permanent actions as well so Temporary actions, that means they are true for a short period of time, not always, okay? That means they are temporary. For example, for temporary actions, what do you do? Use, use present continuous. Yes. For example... I'm living, sorry guys, I can't get it done, there's a problem with my mouse pad, I can't or can't, uh, no, 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 I'm living with my, with my uncle, this holiday these holidays in this holiday so guys when the holidays holidays are over what do you do you stop living with your uncle with the okay so this is a present continuous because it's a temporary action it's for a short time it's not for a long time okay it's not for a long time we use present continuous for a short time actions okay mm, all right so next example to make it more clear we are staying we are staying in a beautiful in a beautiful hotel We are staying in a beautiful, beautiful is done, hotel, sorry guys, I'm just, just good. To, we're, we're staying in a beautiful hotel on our vacations, yay. So this is also a short time action. Our next one, permanent action. Okay, permanent something is permanent, for example, for permanent action, you use what? Use simple present. Another great usage of simple present. If the action is permanent, you use what? Use simple present. For example, for example like this. We left in Carte. Sure. I mean, this is your house. Your house is here. It's a permanent action. Okay, it's not temporary action. Uh, I walk to my school. What I do? I walk to my school. This is permanent, and you every day, every day you keep on repeating this. 
okay so remember guys what i said temporary actions what are temporary actions temporary actions that are true for a short period of time okay that are true for a short period of time true true for a short period of time okay after a short period of time this will change now this is the main thing so for if for these actions use what present continuous these are the examples permanent actions permanent so what are they they are what what are they permanent actions or verbs they are true for a long period of time yes so let's go when, when the action is short and it's for a short time use present continuous when the action is for a long time use simple present this is another difference between simple present and present continuous that's it guys thank you